Welcome back to KSN News at 4. Just call it football country. Three of the top 10 JUCO teams are from right here in Kansas. So I want to bring in KSN's Jason Lamb now. And Jason, the top spot, the top dog out of all of them, it is the Hutchinson Blue Dragons. That's right. Thank you, Jeff. The Blue Dragons beat Garden City last Saturday 65-7 to to improve to 7-0. and Their roster includes 27 players from the state of Kansas, including the top JUCO recruit in the entire nation. There's a cool fall breeze blowing through the Hutchinson Community College campus. And while it's quiet now, hey! Gowan Stadium will soon be buzzing. One thing I've noticed is, you know, just on our games, uh, just really packed out stands. For a junior college, it's a great atmosphere. The undefeated Hutch Blue Dragons are the number one ranked JUCO team in the nation. I think it means the world to everybody around here. It seems like you know, everybody from Hutch supports all the sports here in Hutch, and I think that's pretty cool. Lenita Ummel manages the student bookstore. The stand was full. Mm -hmm. I had heard uh, people with the newspaper saying they hadn't seen that many people in the stadium in in a while. So, so, and then it explained to me why we were so busy. This year, since you know we're undefeated, you know, everyone in the in the town is at the games and then you just walk around you know campus the dorms uh, just classes teachers you know they all just want to know like what's next for the Blue Dragons. Sure. Michael Lizaldi yeah. is the organizer of game day yeah. tailgating. Being number one is important because it, it validates the work that has been done up to this point. Being one overall in the country is is something that's to be proud of definitely I know it's definitely not the goal because number one at the end is the goal. H Hutch is a special place and number one it's because the community and the people you know that surround our program and, and are involved in our program on a daily basis. Blue Dragons head coach Drew Dallas is a Salina Central grad who led Hutch to the NJCAA National Championship in the spring of 2021. Hey, His Blue Dragons are currently <laughs> on a 13 game winning streak. Well, I think we're just able to communicate, you know, compete at the national level because of the support that we have. You know, from a facility standpoint, we really feel like we have the best in the nation at this level. And um, again, that goes back to administration and the leadership. It also helps that Hutch boasts the number one junior college recruit in the country. Malik Benson is headed to Alabama next year. I'm very thankful for Hutch, you know, for giving me the opportunity. Thankful for Coach Dallas. And I would just say, you know, just any kid that's looking to go JUCO, I would definitely say, you know, come play for the best JUCO in the nation. The number one ranking is nice, but the Blue Dragons know there's more work to be done. Want to know? That's that's all we're really focused on. If we don't play in the national championship, then you know the number one, it was really for nothing. But you know, just telling my teammates every single day, we just got to keep going and keep you know just trying to be one and zero every week, every day. All right, now you saw Cole Seagraves in that piece. He's the kicker from Mays. He's the National Special Teams Player of the Week after making all eight of his extra point attempts and going three for three in his field goal attempts last Saturday. The Blue Dragons have three regular season games left. They host Highland Community College tomorrow night at 7. Here for you, Jason Lamb, KSN News 3.